is happening, everybody? All right, so what am I up to tonight? Well, I'm running the Z Automotive Taser cooldown feature on my Hellcat. So we are about 31 minutes into this. We've got the setting is fan on and intercooler on low. Battery voltage under load is down to about 11.2. We got started at 6.20. So we're 31 minutes into it and resting voltage is about 11.6, 11.5. Now, why are we going through all of this? Well, I will show you. But first of all, if you've got one of these Hellcats and you've got one of these tasers, one of the issues that you'll run into is after you make a pass, you go to do your cooldown feature and the car will be really hot and you just won't have that much time to have the cooldown feature run until you run out of battery. Well, one of the things I've done is, that's right, that is the Archangel battery, just picked it up today. And as far as weight goes, let me get you guys a weight real quick. 18 pounds. <laughs> How do you like that? I mean, this thing weighs absolutely nothing. There is nothing to that. So, bit of the testing procedure, and it should be coming down at about its time to shut itself completely down. I believe it kills itself right at 10.9 volts. Uh, I had the battery on the charger until that thing read full. Uh, total battery charge uh, at the time of starting was 13.2 volts. Now, as it was charging, it would get as high as 14.5, 14.6, but you take the thing off the charger and it'll settle out into about 13.2-ish. Um, this Archangel battery was checking in at 14.5 volts right out of the box. Now, you might say, well, that's really not that fair of a comparison, but that's not necessarily true. You see, the stock battery is rated at 80 amp hours, whereas the Archangel is rated at 50. Well, the amp hours basically are just telling you the gas tank, so to speak, of that particular battery. And I'm wondering how long, every, once, every time this thing goes into brake mode, like it goes into like take a brake mode, and then it kicks back on, I'm wondering if it's shutting itself off. Again, that taser will shut it off, I believe, at like 10, 8, 10, 9 volts. So you won't, well, hopefully lose the ability to start your car. Although I have had that happen at the drag strip where I've run the cool down feature several times after several passes and the car wouldn't start. I had to get the jump box out. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Rob. So at any rate, yeah, the Archangel does not quite have the gas tank, so to speak, but it's not the same technology. This is a lithium ion style battery as opposed to a lead acid, which is in these parts. And the real difference with how it delivers power is that as a lead acid battery loses its capacity, it'll lose that voltage output. And it's fairly linear. And the lithium batteries will keep that voltage nice and high for longer until it gets to close to it, the end of its amp hour rating. And then it basically just falls off. So. The idea is that you can have more voltage over a longer period of time without losing the capacity to be able to start the vehicle. Well, the idea here is how long will it run this cool down feature until you absolutely have to, uh, well, either fire the car up because it's hit low voltage or if it hits low voltage, will the car fire up? I don't know, it's tough to say. And the stock lead acid battery is doing pretty good considering we are let's take a look here 35 minutes into it ah, we're coming up on about it's time to shut down we're at 11 volts I have a feeling it's going to be shutting down pretty soon so what we're going to do is we're going to get this thing down to see right now it's in cool down break up oh, it just kicked over to everything being back on get this thing time stamped and then we'll put the new battery in and do this all over again while this is going on here's some random shots around the garage there's a drag pack in its little nook in the garage 
There's the Honda TRX 200 that I brought back to life. Currently working very well as a towel holder, basically a clothes rack. Thing runs like a beast too. Oh my God, this is so boring. I never knew listening to fans would be so. Uh, anyway, you ever wondered what the rig looks like that I'm talking into while I'm doing the shows outside? That's what I've got. I've got this uh, this mount suction cup to a mirror with that light mounted to it. Or hang it off of it, rather. Yep. High quality videography going on over here, guys. All right, so this thing is still going. I don't know how much longer it's going to be going. I made sure this battery was absolutely fully maxed out charged uh, before I got this thing going. And I apologize. I had a bit of an unboxing video going, and I operator error screwed up and accidentally deleted the file yes. incompetence at its finest so anyway uh, we're still going strong with the stock battery I've already got the other battery ready to go as you can see it's on standby all 18 pounds of fury and then the stock battery is just back there running I've got the plate right there uh, I'm just going to, once this thing gets to its low point, go ahead and lift it out, put the other battery in, get this thing started all over again. So, there you go. Ooh, I wonder if that's... All right, guys. So, yep, uh, battery low is what we're showing. And it ran for, I mean, exactly 40 minutes. Let's get these batteries swapped out and get this party started all over again with that Archangel battery. All right, and just like that, she's in. I haven't put the plate in yet. I'm probably going to have to get a little bit longer screw for that, or bolt, I should say, but let's go give it a whirl. All right, guys, so battery as installed, 13.8 volts, so a little bit higher, but not by too much. I'm going to get this thing set up and ready to go. It is... 704. I think 705 would be about a good time to get it up and kicking. Oh, there we go. So let's get this thing kicking. All right. Fan and intercooler pump are both on low, just as in the last test. We are starting at 705. And while we are waiting on this thing to load. We'll get that gauge cluster back up and running. And there we go. 13.5 right out of the box. 7.05, we are underway. It's got to beat 40 minutes. Think it can do it? I bet you it can. In fact, if it crests 40 minutes, we're just going to go ahead and, and call it good, I think, at this point. Stay tuned. All right, so yeah, I am gonna have to get a slightly longer bolt just because of how this plate down there meets up with the battery. The actual uh, tongue on the battery down there is a little bit wider. So yeah, you gotta get a little bit longer bolt. I would say if this thing is, you know, I don't know, an inch long, I'm probably guessing we're gonna need probably an inch and a half to make that work but enough of that let's see how much this thing weighs this is that stock battery and it weighs more I can tell you that let's see 44 all right yeah, let's call it 45 yep, sorry about that misfired so yeah 44.8 for the stock battery 18 for the new battery so you're looking at about yeah, about 20, you know, good solid 20 pounds less, 25 pounds total. Uh, I'd say that's not too shabby. You can definitely feel it when you lift them too. Because this thing is definitely heavier. God, that scale's got to be wrong. It feels a lot more than just 25 pounds heavier, but I don't know. Let's see how much I weigh. 
Yep. This is how much fun you get to have while you're listening to your fans just do nothing but run. God, this is so boring. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that's about right. So, there you got it. About 25 pounds so far. I'd say it's a pretty decent weight savings, considering the fact that you also get a battery that's just simply going to last longer. So, well, at least in terms of longevity. Now, as far as your cooldown feature, I don't know. Time will tell, but it seems to be trucking along pretty good. Let's see where our voltage is. All right, so we're about six minutes in. Resting voltage is 13.2, and under load, yeah, 13.1. One interesting thing is that it's not dropping voltage very much. So it's kind of following that, that uh, you know, the design of you know these more modern batteries where they just don't drop voltage, uh, not only under load but just you know as they're uh, as they're being drained. But again. We're only eight minutes into this, so kind of early to call. <laughs> the other one went for five times as long as this. So anyway, I feel like I'm hosting a telethon. Stay tuned. All right, while this is doing its thing, we're basically 20 minutes into it. Battery voltage really hasn't changed at all. It's gone from 13.2 to 13.0, but it's under load right now. Let's see, it should go into it's take a break mode. It's still running right now. But I think under no load, it's still kicking back up to like 13.1. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. yeah it's in cool down break mode. 13.1, dropping down to 13.0. It's just not lower. It's not dropping any voltage. Uh, if you guys remember at about this time stamp, at about 20 minutes, you know, the other battery was down, I think around you know, 12.2, 12.3, this thing's still trucking along at 13.0 like it's really not a thing. So anyway, while we're sitting around, again, basically watching paint dry, I figured we go take a trip down memory lane. Oh. So this is the best pass the car has ever run, that 10.47 at 129.94. That was back in February, beginning part of February. Let's see, what was that? That was at 10.48 at 130, again on the same night. Let's see, what all, what all has this car run? Uh, 10.49 at 129, there's another pass, that was in January. Let's see. another 1048 at 127 it was in February pretty fun stuff and then I got a whole other grip of time slips <laughs> and this doesn't even represent not even close to half of them anyway car is pretty stout I mean it, it never fails to run a 10. Just depends on what kind of tent it's going to run. There was a bypass at a 1059 back in January. Another 1059. Oh, wait, I think that's a duplicate. That was at 204. What was this one? Yeah, that's a duplicate. Let me get rid of that one. Oh, something happened. Oh, it spun on this one. Went 11 2 at 130. <laughs> Not too shabby for a stock car. Oh, wait, there's an 11.1. What happened up? Oh, yep, spun on that one. Look at that 60 foot. Ah, gross. What was up with my reaction time? I don't know. Something happened. But anyway, yeah, 11.1 at 130. Snoozing. That would have been a nasty pass. When was that? First of March. Damn, that would have been a sick pass for March. There's a 10.6 at 128. Again, back in March. Yep. So anyway, watching paint dry still. 13.0, 22 minutes in, 
still trucking along. All right, so for you guys that are wondering, again, this is just small talk while this is going on. Uh, if you notice, no catch can, and that is the stock thermostat. So still rocking the stock thermostat, still not doing anything with a catch can just yet. And it's still running low, or not low mid tits, running 1040s in good air. Mid tens, you know, 1060s, yeah, high mids, 1070s in so-so air. All right, guys, time stamping 30 minutes into it, basically. Technically 31, but come on, it's 30 minutes into it. We're still hovering around 12, 9 to 13 volts. I got to tell you, with 10 minutes to spare, it looks like this thing is going to walk all over that lead-acid battery. So, there's your update. Stay tuned if you can.